we have some rational function solving or resolving rational function into partial fraction you have to take note of this one determine the nature and type of denominator yes that's what we have done so you have to determine the nature and the type determine whether it is factorable or not so if you know the nature and you're able to determine whether it's factorable or not you can determine its equivalent right to equate the function to its appropriate image what's the image here it's the equivalent that we are talking about it here that's what we did okay it's appropriate image that's the equivalent resolve the image so using the lcm of the denominators yes use any supporting technique to determine the unknowns so the technique you will deal with it so we have two techniques here we have the cover up that's santa quite the substitution method and the expansion method so we have to know all these two methods so in some way we can use the cover up alone in another way you have to use the two of them so please that is a supporting technique that is supposed to know we write the rational function with its part in a tidy manner so after getting the answer we write it nicely that's what we are saying rational function decomposing or resolving rational function into partial flashing you are going to start the main business as we are there with the types and its equivalent then we can solve question under this so please visit our previous video to know the types and its equivalent and how to go about it before you start solving the example it will be easy for you resolve 6s plus 5 out of s square minus 1 into its partial fashion so 6s plus 5 out of s square minus 1 before we start solving i say take note of this so you have to know the nature and the type of the denominator it's factorable so that our denominator here s square minus 1 it's factorable so this is a perfect square right so we can factorize it so with this one we'll get s minus 1 times s plus 1 so s minus 1 and s plus 1 so it's factorable so it's factorable then the denominator is distance factor or different factor do you remember so with distance what we go we said that we let an alphabet take one of it then the next one take the other so a out of s minus one plus b out of s plus two because this s minus one s plus one the same as this right so now what should we do here our next step is that we should find out the lcm so what's the lcm of this it is the same as s square minus one so you can write s square minus one you are good to go s square minus or you can write s minus one s plus one is the same as s square minus one right so our lcm is s minus one s plus one good so this s minus one s plus one divided by s minus one so it will cancel this the s minus s minus will cancel it will go so it will have it s plus one then we use this s plus one times the a i said this one we're doing it in the basic school one out of two plus three out of five then find the lcm then we use two do you remember those things that's the same thing that we are doing here right so we are learning all these things because this was waiting for us so s plus one times a then we then move here 
x minus 1, x plus 1, divided by x plus 1. So it will cancel this. So it left with x minus 1. Then x minus 1 times the b. Right? So you get a times x plus 1. That's what I said. Plus b times x minus 1. Good. Now, let's continue. Using the expansion method, we say use supporting technique. So we have two methods here. Here we use the two method. Then you know how to deal with the two method. You have to know the two method. But in some question, you may use the two of them. In some question two, you need to use one. So using the expansion method, with the expansion method, we have to multiply the a throughout the a. So a times s plus a. So a times s plus a times the one. That's the a plus b times s minus b minus b. So if you multiply a, then you multiply the b, right? Now, how did the denominator be there? Our next step is. Let's group like terms. So we group all the s on one side and the a minus the constant to another side, right? Then let's factor the s out. If I try the s out, we get a plus b plus a minus b, right? So it just if I try that one go out, so that's it, right? Then since the denominator are the same. Because you compare the numerator, so they are the same. You equate the numerators. So equating the numerators, since the numerators are the same, so this is the, the numerator, right? So, so the numerators are the same. Then, what should we do here? We compare the coefficient. So 6s, we compare to s times a plus b. Right, so you compare this to this, so this s will go, then it will be s equals a plus b. Then we are our equation one, then five. You compare it's a constant, this constant to this constant, so five equals a minus b. That's our equation two. Then we solve it simultaneously. Comparing terms, so six equals a plus b. Right, the s will go. So if you compare this one and this one, this s will cancel. So that's why we say comparing terms. Then we compare the constant to here. That's our equation two. Let's solve it simultaneously. We all know how to solve simultaneous equation. Good. So we have the substitution method, the elimination method, anywhere you go. So now use the elimination method here. So equation one minus equation two. Then I will get one equals 2b. So if I subtract this from this, it will be 1. 6 minus 5 is 1. Then this a will go to 0. Then minus minus b. That's why we call it 2b, right? Then let's find b. Our b is 1 out of 2. Then we can also say equation 2 minus equation 1, right? Then we can get the answer. Or you can put b into one of the equation. Anywhere you go, you are good to go. So put b into equation 1. Therefore, I'll find a. So my a, so this will move here, a negative. So it will be 2 times 6 plus minus 1. So 2 times 6 is so 12 minus 1, 11. So therefore, our a is 11 out of 2. Now we know our b and a. Then, we just substitute it in here. So we write this again. Our A is 11 out of 2. Our B is 1 out of 2, right? Then we said, write it in a tidy manner. This is what we are saying. So we said I write it nicely. So don't leave your answer in this. You just bring the, the denominator down, the two down here. So, it will be 11 out of 
2 times s minus 1, 1 out of 2 times s plus 1. This is what said I'd write it in a tidy manner. Good. So let's try another method, the cover up method or the substitution method. People like this method. Using the cover up method. So you would just we just start from here. We will create the numerators, right? So we start from here. So we create the numerators. Yeah. We are seeing the meta the same. Now, I want this one of these to go to zero, right? So I'll let S equal negative one. If S equal negative one, the A will go to zero in both sides. So therefore, Anyway, I see I just put negative one there, simple as that. Then negative one equals negative two b. So our a will go to zero. So therefore our b is one out of two. Right? Then I know my b. So still I can use the cover up the, the cover up for this. So I will let s equals one. So that my B, I can get the A. My B will go to zero. So if S is one, my B will go to zero. So it will be 11 equals 2A. Therefore, my A is 11 out of 2. You see that with this method and the expansion method, you get the same answer, right? So please don't think you are going to use the cover up method well, if it's some question, it may require both of them. So please know the expansion methods too. Subscribe to Sinia Perus, my YouTube channel, for more videos.